Stay black in America. Don't go anywhere. Don't leave. Greatest country in the world. Ancestors went through 40 years of slavery, reconstruction, civil rights, all type of Jim Crow laws. You know, stay here, man. Greatest country in the world. Black people together collectively income will be the 15th wealthiest nation in the world. So uh, you don't feel the pleasure and the greatness of America because maybe you haven't been to a lot of places in the world to see how pitiful they are and how great we really are. So uh, stay black in America, man. We'll talk about North Carolina today. North Carolina has a population of 10.6 million, Afro-American population 22.2, little over uh, 2 million people. Uh, unemployment rate is 5.2 for, for, you know, Caucasians, 8.7 for blacks. Justice has over 38,000 people incarcerated and 48% black. Stay away from drugs, man. It's, it's proven that 90% of black people get locked up, get locked up because of drugs. Disassociate with drugs, man. Don't use them, don't sell them, don't associate with them, don't have nothing to do with them. Let the demographic fall. Let the, the face of drugs fall into to white or some other race or some other ethnic of people. Uh, historically, black college is 12. All everybody academically inclined, take advantage of those college. Get your, get your, get your associate's degrees, your, your BAs, your masters, your PhDs. Try to become a professor's university. Try to become a, a dean's university. Uh, black banks got one. Uh, uh, the home ownership rate is 68.7% for white folks, 47% for blacks, which is pretty darn good, 40, 47%. Um, North Carolina produces uh, sweet potatoes, uh, dry beans, uh, eggs, soybean, uh, tobacco, pigs, boilers, chicken, turkeys, cotton. Uh, they're definitely uh, providing for the, uh, you know, the greatness of America, man. So, yeah, you got to hand it to them for that. So, look, become self-employed. Employ yourself, I always say. Employ yourself. So anything you're know, dealing with with homes, man, anything dealing with with, with uh, commercial properties and, and, and automobiles, get into that, man. That's what the money is. You know, learn how learn how to fix roofs, become roofers, man. Learn about foundation and structure and siding, become electricians and plumbers, man. Uh, be able to, to be able to replace windows and put windows in, uh, put wooden floors in, uh, put a uh, uh, tile floors in, put carpeting in floors, put, put put bars on windows, put alarm systems in. Uh, be landscapers, man. Fix, make the make the outside look beautiful. Learn every technique you can about landscape and make it look beautiful. That's where the big money is, man. Cars learn, uh, and also action heating. Cars, man. You know, detailing cars. You know, replacing tires and, and brakes. Uh, replace anything. Mostly you can do in a car. If you if you engine and transmission, you can do that. Even more superb. Make more money. Anything dealing with with, with homes and cars, man. Become self-employed. Employ yourself or somebody employing you. You can outwork anybody. You came from slavery. So you can outwork anybody in this country. You gotta think. You got. You got. You got. Uh, Think like a businessman, work like a slave, and stack that money. When you stack that money, you can buy all the homes and property you want, and 75% of the people who came rich in America became rich because of real estate. We buy real estate at one price, 10 years later, it's 25 or 30 times more what it is there. So the more homes you get, the richer you get, before you know it, you'll be, you be a millionaire three, four times over, man. So just keep pressing hard. Don't let nothing keep you down. Stay out of the justice system. Stay away from drugs. 90% uh, of black people get locked because of drugs. You know, so and become self-employed, man. So that'll take care of home ownership. That'll take care of unemployment. And that'll take and that'll take care of the justice system problem, man. Hanging in black, hanging in black in uh in North Carolina. Shout out to, to Madison. My father was born there back in 1923. Uh, he's deceased now. But uh, so all I gotta say, subscribe to my channel. Stay black in America. Talk to you later.